Hi guys, welcome to this video. So this is my second update for the new racks that I'm painting, the Dark Eldar racks. So um, let's just jump in and take a look, really. There's nothing really to explain other than this is my second video on them. And um, I've had to drag myself away from painting them because I'm having such a good time painting them to um, to show you guys where I am and just give you a little bit of description on uh, and how I get them painted. And I, I get these painted fairly fast. What you see here is... Um, two evenings work and that's 20 racks I've also managed to completely paint up the uh, the Talos as well I say completely I've got it to tabletop standard I need to still paint all of the uh, the colored tubes and all that sort of thing but it's the same standard as the rest of them and then I'm gonna go back in and change the colors on those as well so they'll probably do a video in the next few days on on those guys because I've got four of them now so let's take a look at the racks now what I've done here at the front is I've put one of the old ones. This is a, excuse me, a fine cast one. As you can see, that's that's what it's going to look like, roughly. There's not all that many colours on it, but uh, that's the way I like them to be. Um, these, you'll notice as well, are also missing the uh, the coloured pipes as well for the, uh, the luminescent icker. And this is where we are at the moment with the 20. So there's a little bit of silver put on them. As you can see, the blades have been uh, done with silver. And there's still a lot of silver left to do, like all the little uh, staples and the uh, the rim around the helmet and all the bits and bobs around the bottom there. But essentially, to get to this stage, I prime them black. Then I, um, I hit them with a heavy Caliban green dry brush. <laughs> so almost like a, a wet brush, almost. And uh, so it just leaves the black recesses. Then I go in with a moot green. These are both uh, GW colours, uh, or Citadel colours. I go in with a lighter uh, moot green dry brush. And what that does is it sort of gives this variation and the shade that you can see all along the bottom here and on all the details and on the arms and the top of the head and the masks as well. Then it's a matter of just picking out some bits with silver that I'm still yet to do and some of his skin and bits and his shoulder need to be done in silver um, and then it's uh, pallid witch white maybe or pallid witch flesh I don't know but it's, a, it's basically a very pale um, white almost um, that goes in for the skin so the hands the torso the skin that's stretched over the back there as you can see um, and then that will be dry brushed. I still need to do the feet on this because if you, know, you can see that, but they wear sandals, if you can see there. Um, so that needs to be done. Uh, these are all basically to the same standard. So what's left? We've got basically doing all the silver bits all over the place, like on the armbands, around the face mask, around the back, all the vials. I need to do the bone on the top and bottom of the spines, as you can see there. It pops out the top and out the bottom. So that needs to be done with bone. Um, any arms that have got bone sticking out of them need to be done as well. There's silver going here and all around. Then I'll be hitting everything except for the, the bits that are already done in green. So this is the final finish here that you can see, except for the silver bits that will be added and the, the coloured tubes. Everything gets hit with a black wash, basically, and that turns this into this. It's uh, It adds a lot to it. Of course, this looks a bit messy because the original model was messy with it being uh, fine cast. But um, there you go. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting these painted up, and I just, like I say, had to drag myself away from it to uh, to do this update video for you guys. Right, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, if you need any hobby supplies, go and check out these guys here. Um, <clears throat> subscribe if you want to see more videos in this series. I've got a lot of Dark Eldar stuff coming, but I'm also doing the, the Gorkamorka and the Frostgrave as well. Haven't forgot about those, don't worry. Um, I'm just on a bit of a, uh, a mission getting these guys done. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.